It will be the visitors to get us underway at the Aviva Stadium. The Republic of Ireland looking to start on the front foot here. Roche, and now Knight keeping the wet down this side. Faced up by Corin Beiramian. Clips across inside, oh, Femi with the flicked header. And he wasn't a million miles away. Teasing ball in from Jason Knight, first big chance of the game. Yeah, it's a wonderful cross in from Knight, just creates a bit of space for himself and whips it in. Obafemi just peels off the back of the shoulder. Looks like he's possibly offside with his arm, but I think he gets away with it. And you think he's just going to flick into that far corner, just ends up going wide. Great chance. Uh, climbed as best he could, just couldn't quite get the control on that. All the heavy hitters around the penalty spot. Teased in towards Egan with the header. The Republic of Ireland hit the front, a purple patch for John Egan, two and two. Makes it three international goals for the Irish scooper. And the early pressure pays off. John Egan, the new Shane Duffy when it comes to goal scoring trap for Ireland. Just a simple cross in, great delivery from Robert Brady, and Egan just well, muscles his man and heads into that far corner. Decent header down and bounces up, skids off the surface. Here he is, comes in, he just peels off his man, gets great power and accuracy on it. Decent ball from Brady into a fine area, and the keeper has no chance with the way it skips up off the surface. Well, quality delivery complemented by a quality header from John Egan. Gets up really early, it's a great contact on it. And just that knockdown, like textbook. And that was one of the big talking points about Robbie Brady coming. Chance now for Conor Harun, maybe a little earlier than he would have expected. Obafemi, oh brilliant! Harun into the bottom corner, Michael Obafemi. But once he turned, he never hesitated. An exquisite finish. Well, he likes that into the ground, doesn't he? Yeah, absolutely sensational strike for him. It's a great first touch to open up. He just finds a little bit of space and he gets his head up and he drills into that far corner. Good oh, finish. This, it's a pass in straight into him. It's the first touch around the corner. Opens himself, second one, and then it's bang that bottom corner. Gives the goalkeeper no chance, but the spin, the quickness he gets onto, it's brilliant from him. Well, tender in years, but such a talked about player, and he has been for many years, including this season. Had that spell out at club level under Russell Martin, but brought back in off the bench against Hull to get some minutes before this international break. And that is the finish of a striker in form, a striker who backs himself every time. Right into the bottom corner, past the sprawling and despairing dive of Yurchenko. Brady battling to keep this one in play, which he's managed to do, Jason Knight. Powerhin in the perfect crossing position, fantastic ball in. Oh, goalkeeper looked in real difficulty there. Doherty just couldn't get there and get the touch. That's it, that's what Con offers. He's got absolutely wonderful left foot. He whips this into such a dangerous area. It's a pity no one's alive to it. Yeah. Not, not his normal quality into the box, but when it's set back like that, you know what he's going to do, so we need to be then getting the bodies into the box. Good ball back by Spurzian. Bishakshan taking it on, and Bazunu touches it onto the post. On the follow-up, it's Dashan who buries it. And Armenia back in the game. Well, Bazunu with the initial save to deny Bishakshan. But it's his fellow substitute, Artak Dashan, who hammers in his first international goal. And all of a sudden, 20 minutes to go, it's 2-1. We get spread here, end them in a 2v2 situation. Bishakshan comes inside, it's a great hit, Basunu does really well to knock onto the post and then we don't get enough around the ball and the recovery run. It's a great strike to put into the far corner, but we're not recovering quick enough and it's just a lapse of concentration. Well, not an easy... Yeah, that's the one thing you don't want to do in a game like this, give up an under-pressure opposition, that glimmer of hope, that chink of light. And now Horan's given it away. Spertian, could he do it again? He has done! Oh, this is utterly remarkable. 
Spertian, who sunk the Irish in Yerevan in the opening game in the group. Strikes again from outside the box, two goals in maybe less than two minutes here. Ireland cruising at 2-0, it's now 2-2. This is, this is actually unbelievable. Can't believe we're on it, witnessing it here again. A team like Armenia who, not in this game, Conor Heron, dreadful crossfield pass, no pace on it. Spritzian just steps in and buries in the bottom corner. And we're back to 2-2 in, in, in a team that have not been in this game. And Brady. Good angle to work with here. The header off from point blank range, Collins. Still a chance. Horahan looking to make amends for that errant pass. And Nathan Collins, a hat-trick of chances in this second half, but this one, well, he got it on target, but it was straight at Yurchenko, who just reacted to bat it away. <laughs> it's a great delivery in, and he's just in any side, any either way, and it's in the back of the net, but he hits it straight at him. And then the body in from Connor. Gets it wrong and over the... Oh, that looked a foul throw all day long, not given. Armenia trying to win themselves a corner, Alan Brown battling. And Barzumian, who's had a good game, the right wing back. Well, they fancy going and winning it now. Ireland having to defend into their penalty area. Biramian gets the shot away. And was only a whisker away from a lead goal for Armenia. Tell you what, this goes close, Ranyan. Another great strike from the edge of the box. Bazunu's stretching for it. He has a cover, but it's a warning shot for Ireland. Robbie Brady. An umpteen set piece. Good looking delivery. Now, where's it gone? Ireland appealing half heartedly for a penalty. Well, there is a bar check here for a potential handball, that was the Darrow Shea shout a few moments ago. Is this to be Ireland's lifeline? Well, the fact he's going to have a look here, this is encouraging. Joaquin Caparos, not happy with this at all. It was Darrow Shea, the arm is out, the crowd are convinced this will be given. They've seen it on the big screen. To be honest, it's a blatant handball, it's a definite penalty. Is it going to be given? No signal yet. Signal now, penalty. Armenia furious. And Barzumian is going to be booked, he might not be the only one. It's a red card, he continued his protests. Uh, maybe one of Armenia's top performers tonight, but he won't finish the game. It's just that that's the letter of the law now, and as he, uh, he may have got tripped and he is going down, but he does move his arm towards it. But like I said, it's a second man sent off here now, I think, for Armenia. If they're falling to, to bits and it's madness from them. Adashian and Hanbal Zunyan is not going quietly. That familiar pose. The blast of the whistle. Robbie Brady steps up and buries it. The Republic of Ireland back in front. It's an extremely cool can. Penalty from Robbie Brady. Just stops in that bottom corner and gets us back on track for well. What a let off that is. A moment to hold your nerve. Robbie Brady did exactly that, sent the goalkeeper the wrong way. Armenia trail again, and of course, now with nine men. You surely can't see another comeback for them in stoppage time. No, I'd like to think Ireland can see this true now. The highs of Scotland, a 3 0 win here. And Ireland going to score a 3 2. Finished the campaign as well, but it is in that what in the end was a very nervy 3-2 victory. 
But it's a victory, and Robbie Brady will celebrate his winning goal for Stephen Kenny. Well, what is going through his head right now is to win, but certainly not the win we expected.